Ever since I first saw the trailer to the sequel of Breath of the Wild, this scene in particular has really stood out to me. At first, I didn't think much more of it than just a rat being consumed by malice, but as I thought of it more, I realized that the developers definitely had an important reason to place this into the trailer. At first, I really didn't know what that reason was, but as I thought about it and have talked to some fellow Zelda fans, I believe that this rat can symbolize Dark Nuts as well as other animal-based enemies, returning to the series in the sequel. Warriors clad in gothic-themed armor, wielding swords the size of your entire body, holding shields to deflect even the strongest of blows. These are all characteristics of the Dark Knight. Dark Knights are often one of the most powerful enemies in Zelda games, and are always very fun to fight. However, they have been missing from the series since Twilight Princess, leading fans to wonder, where have they gone? Some hopeful fans, like myself, believe or at least hope that they will return in the sequel to Breath of the Wild. So why do I believe that the rat being absorbed by malice could symbolize Dark Nut's return? Well, if you were to take a look at the Dark Nut that you see on your screen, it's my personal belief that rats kind of resemble these dark nuts from Wind Waker. Now, it's true that they definitely have more canine features, but dogs were also in Breath of the Wild, so perhaps Ganon's malice takes over tons of wildlife throughout the world, and, and it changes from Breath of the Wild to Breath of Darkness, and, and part of that darkness is the world's animals are taken over by malice. This could be perhaps explain why Dark Nuts weren't in the first game, but are in the second. If Dark Nuts are in the game, as well as other animal-based enemies, what would they look like and where would they be especially? Well, I believe we can look to Lionel's first and foremost for any direct comparison to an animal-based enemy. Lionel's are a chimera of a horse, a human, and a lion. You can often find Lionels wherever you find any of these creatures. For example, you can find Lionels often grazing in plains. You can often find them at the savanna where lions would normally lay. And you can also find one in a Colosseum or near Hyrule where many humans previously were. I believe that we can take this as a hint that perhaps more enemies will be like this in the next game. The location of Dark Nuts in Breath of the Wild would heavily depend on what animal they are derived from, if they are derived from an animal at all. If they're derived from rats, they'll likely be found in dark places such as temples or caves. But if they're derived from canines, then they'll likely be near some human settlements, though we could see one return as a mini-boss in a dungeon. If they're human, such as a Hylian knight from an age long past, we'll likely find them once again near Hyrule or human settlements. Who knows, maybe we could even say Reed Ed's Iron Knuckles or Pose in the next game. I think the theming could fit very well for it, and I honestly hope they do that. Back to the topic at hand though, if Dark Nuts were in the game, then you'd have to really focus on making their combat fun and enjoyable. In Breath of the Wild, the enemies and the combat overall was amazing. It was super fun to fight against enemies, and it was just a blast to, to learn new enemies and to learn their attack patterns and to figure out how to defeat them, figure out the best way how to defeat these enemies. That was always fun. But once you learn these enemies, it starts to get a bit boring after a while. Eventually, you know, even if you're not too skilled at the game, eventually you'll be able to defeat a Lionel with barely taking any hearts. And that's the kind of thing that I want a Dark Knight to be able to address some way. So I would say there's about three things that I would want from Dark Knights if they were to be in Breath of the Wild 2, the sequel to Breath of the Wild. The first thing is... I would want their combat to be similar, traditionally similar to how it was in Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time. So 
basically I'd wanted them to be fully armored I would, and I think it would be awesome if you'd have to take off their first layer of armor first before you could really start damaging them. And that's when the battle like really begins. You take their first armor off, first set of armor off, and then you go from there. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I think you know you could parry and then get a few swipes at the the sweet spot or the, the, the weak point in the armor. I think that would be absolutely fantastic, super fun to do. Um, and then maybe they get a little bit faster. Maybe like Twilight Princess, maybe they have a, a sword after you take off their first layer of armor that's like the, not a great sword like the one they normally have. I think that would be a lot of fun. Second thing is I want them to be able to adapt to what you do. So currently with enemies in Breath of the Wild, you, they really don't adapt to much you do. They do some, but look at the Lionel for example. The Lionel has its own attack pattern. It has a certain set number of things that it will do often at random or often seemingly at random. Now of course this will change depending on how far you are away from the Lionel. They might you know use a bow and arrow if you're far away but when you're close they rather relatively just go through the motions. I want a Dark Knight as a knight to be able to analyze your sword technique and at least slightly adapt to you and, and challenge you in a way. I want them to be probably overall the most challenging enemy. The third and final thing that I would love from Dark Nuts in the sequel to Breath of the Wild is for it to be a really cinematic experience whenever you fight them. I know this isn't specifically combat oriented, but just fighting a Dark Knight for the very first time in Wind Waker and Twilight Princess was an experience that I'll never forget. And it, because of that, it, it made it enjoyable every single time I fought one in the future. The first time we fight a Dark Knight in the sequel to Breath of the Wild, I want it to be an amazing cinematic experience, similar to those from Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. I want it to feel as though you are going up against a knight who will adapt to you and will try his best to defeat you in, in straight, honest combat. And only through your sheer skill can you defeat him. That's how I want it to feel. I know I'm optimistic, but I really hope that Dark Knights are in the next Zelda game. It would honestly make me so happy. And I know it would make plenty of other Zelda fans happy too. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more. I know this is my first video, so it's a bit rough, but if you stick around, I can only get better from here. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers, guys.